Tonight with a look at where that investigation currently stands. Robert? Yes, crime scene investigators have just returned to the home. They are inside right now. All of this started about a call from, excuse me, all of this started when a resident in this neighborhood made a call about a suspicious person. According to Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Nels, that call entailed that resident saying they thought they saw a man getting into a home at the end of this cul-de-sac. There's a video camera across the street showing a gentleman running down the street, um, and, and that's why they called. Uh, and they, it appeared that this gentleman was running towards that house. The neighbors knew that that house was vacant at the time. According to Precinct 4 Constable Trevor Nels, he says his deputy constable, Caleb Rule, and three sheriff's deputies all responded to that call, arriving at the home within 30 to 45 seconds of one another. One of the sheriff's deputies then found a back door unlocked, went inside, and somehow was surprised by Deputy Constable Rule. So one of the key points of this investigation is going to be communication. Both the Precinct 4 uh, Constable's office and the sheriff's office share radio channels so they can hear one another's dispatches, and they can speak to one another when they're on seen working together. Right now, Sheriff Nell says that investigators have not yet gone over all of that radio traffic to try and put that timeline together. Sheriff Nells also says that Deputy Constable Rule was wearing a body camera. His deputies, however, were not equipped with body cameras. Reporting live from the Siena community in Fort Bend County, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.